the end of March of 2019, I decided to retire from the city of Winona as the information systems coordinator after working there for 24 years. I sure didn't mind working, but I had many things to do. First of all, there was a house in Rochester, Minnesota that my parents had lived in when my mother had passed away a few months ago. So I had the big job of going through the many things that were left in the house. Much of it was from my childhood. It was kind of fun looking through the old toys. I even found a couple of paintings I had done when I was taking an art class at the community college in Rochester. Trout fishing starts April 15th in Minnesota, and it was rather cold this year. The weather did improve, though, and I caught a couple of really good-sized brown trout this year, and a lot of smaller ones. Early in my retirement, I joined the Winona Friendship Center and got involved with a program known as Masters in Aging, which did video interviews and also did some videos on some other events. Later, I would do a three-minute video about the Friendship Center fishing float pontoon boat. One of the interviews we did was with Gail Getzman, the owner of the Big Valley Ranch, a horse ranch. Gail had said something to me about, oh, you should take riding lessons, and by golly, I did. I had five lessons, and I found it really interesting. I was a little nervous at first because when I mentioned them, Riding horses to some people, they had had bad experiences, but it all went really well. I got on the Mississippi River on the three tour boats, the Winona Tour Boat, the Cal Fremling, and also the Winona Friendship Fish and Float Boat, and did a video about that. I had some new free flight models to try out. Here's a Satellite 320. I crashed it about three times, but I rebuilt it and put electric in it with our seed at the end. Here's a single-bladed rubber-powered model, and here's my Futu U2, which is a TDO20 powered free flight. I rebuilt my Gollywalk fuselage, and it flies real well now. I had a really good flight at the Nats. I experimented with a couple of uh, rocket-powered gliders that were a lot of fun. I did a lot of RC thermal soaring also, but I, I didn't enter any contests this year. But I went flying off, and I did a lot of bass fishing at the Lake uh, Winona that's just a few blocks from where I live. I caught a lot of small bass, but I caught some pretty good-sized ones too, but I returned them all to the water. I competed in three different free flight contests outdoors at Minnesota near North Branch this year, too. For the fourth year in a row, I went to Muncie, Indiana for the free flight nationals. I got second place in the Pee Wee 30 uh, competition, and I had some really good flights with my Polecat P30 model. At my skill level, if I get one max in an event, I think I'm doing good, and I got it in P30 with the Polecat. I did some control line flying with this electric control line and also with a Cox 049 powered plane that had a stooge that I used, and I got my feet wrapped up in the line one time and managed to trip. I did some RC slope soaring this summer, both out of town with members of the MRCSS Soaring Club and also some locally flying my little UMX Radian sailplane. I went kayaking a few times this year, not as much as uh, some years in the past, but hopefully I'll go more again next year. I joined the Friendship Center Bike Club. It was the close to the end of the season, so I only got to go three times, but I really had a good time. It's a good group, and they always uh, go somewhere for lunch afterwards, which makes for a good outing. So I look forward to that again. I did a lot of hiking uh, this summer, almost every day for a while. I was amazed after a couple of weeks how much my endurance improved and how I could go up the steep hills without uh, breathing hard after a while. The view is really something, too. In one of my hikes in the Sugarloaf area, I ran into this group of people that are trying to get rid of 
an invasive vine called Oriental Bittersweet, and I joined their group and did that a few times. I like living where I live and seeing the changing of the seasons. The leaves in the fall are just gorgeous, and it's really something to see. The last few years I've been flying model airplanes all year long, sometimes flying off the frozen lake in the winter. I really got into the cross-country skiing this winter. Sometimes it wasn't very good. There was barely any snow and sometimes it was icy, but I tried to go every day. I think I only missed a few times all season long. And they say it's just really good exercise, and I have to believe that. And uh, I feel really good after exercising for about an hour. I drove up to Lake City for this ice boat uh, event one Saturday, and after I got done with that, I stopped at Coffee Mill Ski Area and went skiing, downhill skiing. When I was in my 20s, I went skiing about once a week. I was in a ski club when I was going to junior college, and I went out west a couple of times, once to Colorado, once to uh, Big Sky, Montana, but I hadn't skied much for a while, but it's fun. And I go ice skating for the exercise. I like to try lots of different activities to get to exercise so I don't get bored with any one particular activity. I purchased a mini Mac computer and I'm renting the Adobe Premiere video production software now so I can produce videos in my upstairs studio, which I have a, a lighting set and a backdrop so that I can do uh, webcam sessions also. So I'm also trying to get my old stereo equipment going again. and. Uh, I had some trouble with the turntable and ended up buying a new turntable. The receiver's fine, but I'm having trouble with the cassette. I gave up on that. So what am I going to do in my second year of retirement? Well, I've got two golf clubs, and I've been practicing hitting balls, but I'm thinking about taking lessons and learning to play the game.